There is coming a day when no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more cares to dim the high. It's peace forever on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day. That will be on a day. I as I shall see, and I look upon his face. Oh, to save me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through upon the sand, what a day! Or yet that would be we know our bear, no more burden to bear, no more sick, no more calling over there, and forever the one that would be what a day. Glorious day that will be that will be my Jesus, I shall see and I look upon his face. Oh, take me by his grace and takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land. What a day, glorious day. Let's all stand. Praise him today. And will be with my Jesus. I shall see. And I look upon his face. The one who saved me by his grace. But he takes me by the hand. He takes me through. What a day, glorious day, that, that will be a Amen. Go ahead and have a seat. We've got to praise him today. He gave his best, his only son, to die that we might have everlasting life. And I'm sure the elders of the branch will say something about that today. 170. 170. Style of and the Zion songs. Oh no, that's not here. One seven zero. Do you have that, Julie? Yes. and the mouth just rolls and men be wept for the life they stole. I am a cry like the rust and the earth when it cries out, cry for the altar. Judgment day. The trees bend low when the Savior dies. We will we'll break down and rise. And the thunder roars for him to turn to
like the rocks and the earth when it rises up from the Savior died, don't wait to run and don't pray to hide. The world went very long away and where they Yes, Sister Mary. I think we do. This thing is wonderful. What book was that? Uh, I mean, I, the, 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 no. It is in the country of Western, number 67. His name is wonderful. It's just a repeat, so it'd be easy to do. If you follow me along, if she doesn't have it, if you want to sing that, Sister Mary, hold on. Sure. Okay. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. It's, it's just a repeat. Watch me and I'll and I'll meet you too. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. Okay. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. Jesus, my Lord. He's the mighty king. He is the mighty king. And serves the everything. He is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He's a great shepherd of all ages. Oh, for him, the love and is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. Amen. Thank you, Sister Mary. In the that's not one forty six. Sing glory. We don't know this one either, so. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God, He has given us no for my life all of which we
angels in heaven sing glory. Continually reign. For God has done wonders in heaven, all all manner of personal peace and all sing glory. Sing glory. Sing glory. Our God has done wonderful things. He saved us, we're guilty, his kingdom, his glory to God that we sing. Amen. Glory to God, he has brought He has planned hill for more. He's pardoned the entrance to save us all and carry the sound of the storm. Sing glory, sing glory, sing glory. For God has done wonderful things. Amen. He saved us, we're building his kingdom. His glory to God as we sing. Amen. In the clouds rise in sky, great glory to earn it. Thanks that I do there. Sing glory, sing glory, sing glory. Our God has done wonderful things. He saved us, we're building a king. Let me sing on the sing glory, sing glory, sing glory. Our God has done wonderful things. Let me sing on the first building. You believe he's going to rise? They're going to rise again. You believe that wholeheartedly? Because this is not just any church, brothers and sisters and friends. This is the church of Jesus Christ. This is not just play games. This is His church. His name bears it Amen. on the wall, Amen. in the hymn books, on the reservation, wherever they are. Thank God. Thank God. God bless you. God bless you. I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. Um, Happy Easter to each of you. It is nice to see you in church today. Um, I, I want to um, apologize in advance to all the young people in the room who I know were probably drug here today. Um, that's okay. It's good for you. But bear with us. Maybe in the end, you'll enjoy a little something. So uh, I'm sympathetic to our teenagers in the room. Um, I was a teenager once too, and I, I couldn't really grasp coming to, to, to church either. Um, it was always kind of a chore for me. Uh, I'm glad my parents made me do it. Uh, I, I'm thankful for that today. So um, right now, I don't see Angel. Is he hiding? He He's practicing. practicing. Okay. So we're going to have the, the Lord's table set right now, and then uh, we'll open in prayer. Mrs. Carol, read what number? Christ arose. Sister Julie, Christ arose. Do we know what number that is? Thank you. Thank you. 
Amen. 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 While we stand, we'll open our service of prayer. But Mike, please, some prayer. Lord, what a privilege it is to be here today, Father. Regardless of our age, oh Lord, I pray that each and every one of us would feel your spirit to stay, Father. And begin, Lord, to draw closer to you even this day. Regardless of where we are, Lord, we know we can get closer to you, and that's where you want us. So I pray, Lord, touch each and every one. Let us feel your spirit today. Let us be filled, Lord, with your love. Help us, Lord, to glorify your name today. You love us, oh Lord, and you've taken care of us. And Lord, you want us the best for us. And Lord, I just pray today that we would do our best for you. That, Lord, we would serve you as you see fit, O Heavenly Father, and we would accept, Lord, those things that are difficult, those things that are hard, O Lord, and those things that you want us to face. Head on, O Heavenly Father. Many of us, Lord, <clears throat> may be discouraged today, O Lord, but I pray that we put aside the things of this world, O Lord, that we can focus on you today, Heavenly Father, and hear the words from heaven direct from your throne. We feel you this day, Lord, and we love you, and we look forward to it. Fellowship to you today. Be with us, I pray in your son's name, Jesus Christ. I ask. Brother Polinar, bring Sister Mary up, please. Is Angel ready? Yes. A little stage fright, I understand. All right, very good. Well, we're going to carry on. Okay, thank you. Get it, microphone. No, sorry, but my kiss yet. See? Okay. <laughs> 
All right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I didn't know he was going to come up here. Oh. <laughs> Excited. Un poquito nerviosa, perdónenme. This is Sister Mary. She's este, our translator. Esta es hermana Mary que translada la palabra. And so say a little prayer for her. No, a un grande oración. <laughs> You say a little prayer for me. I appreciate that too. <laughs> Today is Easter, in case that slipped your mind. Hoy es el día de la resurrección, si acaso se les ha pasado de la mente. Today is the day we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hoy es el día que celebramos la resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. And wow, you know, resurrection is a really big word. Resurrección es una palabra muy larga. I mean, it's got a lot of syllables. We don't use it in our everyday language. And it, actually, it's connected with death. And so we kind of like don't want to talk about that. Es una palabra muy larga que tiene muchas letras. Y como tiene que ver con la muerte, casi no platicamos de esta palabra. But without it, Christianity, as the way we know it, probably doesn't exist like it should. Y sin esta palabra, el cristianismo no fuera sido uh, hecha sin esta palabra. You see, the most important part of Christianity isn't about this life, it's about the life to come. Lo más importante de esta resurrección no es de la vida que tenemos ahora, es la vida que vamos a, a obtener. For Christians, the mortal life is kind of like, you know, minor league baseball. Uh, la vida de un cristiano aquí es cuando juegan a la baseball de los menos. Yeah, you know, we, we play, it's nice to watch, but the real game is in the life to come. Jugamos este, este uh, juego muy pacífico, pero lo más grande es en la vida que viene más, más adelante. And, and really, the, the main premise behind that is because where God is, the devil is not. Y lo mejor de esto es que donde está Dios, el diablo no está. And unfortunately, right now, on this earth, they're battling for our attention. Lo, la cosa que está pasando ahora que no es muy buena es que los dos están peleando par, por nosotros en este mundo. And, and I don't like that, personally. It bothers me. I'd much rather be with God than, than to be with the devil. A esta parte no me gusta a mí muy bien. Prefiero estar con Dios de, en lugar de con el diablo. But the point that gives me hope in this life is the fact that Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead. Y el punto que me da ánimo para esta vida es que Jesucristo resucitó de la muerte. And so I'm going to spend a few minutes rehearsing to you that story and then telling you a little bit about why it's important. Les voy a leer un, de esta historia y después les voy a explicar un poquito por qué esta historia es importante. Now, if you just want to read about the crucifixion and the resurrection, any of the Gospels, Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, they'll all tell you the story. Si quieren leer de la muerte y la resurrección de les, del Señor Jesucristo, uh, Mateo, Marcos, Lucas y Juan, esos evangelios tienen la historia. And what's interesting is it's the last three chapters of all four of those books. Y son los últimos tres capítulos de cada uno de esos libros. Jesus has his last supper with the disciples in the upper room. He does feet washing and then Judas betrays him. El Señor tiene la última cena con sus discípulos, le lava los pies y después Judas lo traiciona. And Jesus says, you know, it's about midnight. He says, you know what? I'm a little tired. I'm going to go out for a little walk. You guys, why don't you come with me? Let's go pray together. Y el Señor dice, es medianoche. Vamos a, a caminar un poco. ¿Por qué no vienen conmigo? Y vamos a orar un poquito. And while he's praying, Judas betrays him. The, the, the Jews and the Roman soldiers come and they attack him, they capture him in the garden, and they drag him before Pilate. Y entonces en lo último, cuando están en, el, uh, en la última parte, es cuando uh, Judas viene, lo traiciona, y vienen los, del, los romanos de los ejércitos, 
y vienen y lo atacan y se lo llevan. Now, Pilate was a Roman and he was the only one authorized to pronounce a death sentence on anyone. Piloto era el único en el gobierno de los romanos que podía exigir la, la sentencia de muerte. And the Jews wanted Jesus gone. Y los judíos querían que el Señor ya no existiera. He was causing all sorts of problems with all of his healings and his miracles and his talk about, you know, a coming life. And the Jews didn't like that because that went against their religion. Y estaban muy enojados con Jesucristo porque él platicaba de sanaciones, de uh, perdonar, de uh, iba a haber una buena, mejor vida. Y esto todo era contrario de la religión de los judíos. And so they decide, you know what, we're going to have Jesus killed. That'll take him out of the way and we can have our Jewish religion. Everything will be fine. Entonces ellos decidieron que si matan a Jesús, ellos pueden seguir adelante con su religión judía. But Jesus, knowing this was going to happen, he worked this all into the big plan of salvation, saying, I'm going to let them kill me, and then they'll have eternal life. Y entonces Jesús, sabiendo todo este plan, él tuvo un plan más grande y dijo, yo voy a enseñarles a ellos, los voy a dejar que me maten. And I realize I'm shortening the story dramatically here because I, I don't have a lot of time and I want to get to my main points. Y estoy haciendo esta historia corta porque no tengo mucho tiempo para hacer todos los puntos que deseo decirles. And so, you know, unfortunately, Jesus was treated so very terribly that the trial was a farce and, and he was beaten and treated disrespectfully. And finally, he was nailed to a cross. Y lo trataron tan mal, lo golpearon, le, uh, le decían malas palabras, lo hicieron muy feo su juicio, y al fin lo uh, pusieron en la cruz. And I think it's important that in this moment, you think about having nails driven through your hands. I want you to think about that. Quiero que piensen cómo se sentiría de tener clavos puestos en sus manos. What that might feel like to have something driven through your hand. Como se sintiera uno que le ten poniendo esos clavos en sus manos. I don't know if Jesus watched it happen, but it had to hurt. No sé si el Señor estaba mirando lo que le estaban haciendo, pero por seguro fue muy doloroso. And the sad part is, It hurt, but it wasn't going to kill him. Y eso aunque fue doloroso fue, y triste, eso no fue lo que lo mató. It was the hanging part that was going to kill him. Lo que le iba a matar era estar colgando de la cruz. And so Jesus suffers this death that he did not deserve. Así que Jesucristo sufrió esta muerte que él no de, tenía que pasar. But there's a very important point to remember here, and that is Jesus did not, he, he wasn't killed, he gave up his life. Y un punto muy importante es que él no fue matado, él dejó que, se, que lo hicieran esto. It says in the book of John, I give my life for my people. Y en Juan dice, yo doy mi vida por mi gente. And so... This really nice guy, Joseph of Arimathea, who's kind of like circling around on the periphery, he's watching all this. And when Jesus dies, he runs to Pilate and says, I want the body. Y José Armatías estaba dando vueltas, mirando lo que le estaba pasando a Jesús. Y cuando Jesús murió, él fue a piloto y le dijo, le pidió el cuerpo de Jesucristo. And he takes Jesus' body down off the cross. And very lovingly, he washes him, he wraps him, and he puts him in a tomb. Y con mucho cariño, él lo, envuelve, lo baja de la cruz, lo envuelve, lo toma con mucho, mucho cariño y lo pone en la tumba. And probably with a little bit of help, he rolls this massive stone in front of the grave to give Jesus the burial and the respect that he deserves. Y a lo mejor alguien le ayudó a poner la piedra enfrente de la tumba para que Jesucristo recibiera el respeto que él merecía. 
But as we just sang in that song, vainly, they didn't try to hide the dead, bury the dead. Bien, y como dice en la canción que, can, que cantamos, que en vano pudieron, as, hicieron esto. All a part of the big plan, all a part of a foundational plan that was set down right from the beginning of time. Y todo este plan, tan gran plan que ha hecho, fue hecho desde el principio del tiempo. We've said this before. I think it's a little ironic we say it again. This isn't anything that caught Jesus by surprise. Y como has dicho, hemos dicho muchas veces que esto no lo tomó a Jesucristo en sorpresa. When he created Adam in the garden, he knew that this day was coming. Cuando él crió a Adán y Eva, él sabía que este día iba a llegar. And coming to earth as being obedient to his father's will, Jesus suffered this death for you and for me. Y viniendo a este mundo para sabiendo que iba a dar su vida para ti y para mí. It was important that he did this very publicly, very openly, so there could be no confusion about what was about to happen. Y esto tuvo que ser en lo abierto, nada, a todo, nada cubrido, porque para probar lo que iba a pasar después de esto. And just as it had been prophesied, three days later, the stone was rolled away and Jesus Christ came forth of his own power. Y a los tres días eh, se movió la, la piedra y salió Jesucristo por su propio poder. Last week, I told you about how Jesus resurrected Lazarus. La semana pasada, les platiqué como Jesús levantó y resucitó a Lázaro. How he said he stood at a distance and called with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Y que él se, se paró de lejos y le gritó, Lázaro, sal, ven conmigo. No confusion about what Jesus was doing. He had plenty of witnesses to watch. No hubo confusión en lo que había hecho Jesucristo. Había mucha gente mirando lo que estaba pasando. This time of his own power, Jesus comes out of the grave. Y esta vez, con su solo poder de él, él sale de la muerte. And that single act, we're just going to stop there for a moment. That single act is so critical to what we as Christians believe. Y esta acción es tan crítica en lo que nosotros como cristianos creemos. Brother Mike mentioned in his Sunday school class this morning that if Jesus had simply died, he would have been like just any other great prophet. El hermano Mike en su clase dijo que si Jesucristo lo más fuera muerto, fuera sido como cualquier otra persona que muere. Prophets like Elijah and Elisha who did amazing miracles, they died. Así como los profetas de Elías y el, el, Elea, fueron gran profetas, pero también nomás murieron. But by resurrecting, coming back to life, Jesus proved he wasn't just any prophet, he was the Son of God. Y Jesucristo, en levantándose con su propio poder de la tumba, probó que no era ni profeta que él era el hijo de Dios. And more importantly, by demonstrating his power over death, he sets forth in motion a plan that secures the devil's future into that bottomless pit, never to bother us again. Y con esto que hizo en nuestro Señor Jesucristo, él le quitó del poder a Satanás en que él va a ser destruido para siempre. If the death can't hold Jesus down, it will never hold those who believe in Jesus down either. Si la muerte no pudo detener a Jesucristo, la muerte no nos, nos puede detener a nosotros tampoco los creyentes. And this is covered very nicely by the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. Y esto es muy cubrido por el Apostle Pablo en el libro de Primeras de Corintios. And I'm going to take a few verses from 1 Corinthians 15, starting about verse 20. El va a leer de primeras de Corintios, capítulo 15, which was? 20. Uh, versículo 20. 
And Paul is talking to the Corinthians here, and he's about to explain this doctrine, this understanding of resurrection. Pablo les va a explicar la doctrina de la resurrección. And he says, but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Así que Jesucristo fue el primero que resucitó, es el primero de los frutos de la resurrección. What does it mean to be a first fruit? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir las primeras frutos? It's the very first one that pops out on the vine. Es el primero que sale de la viña. It's the very first thing of anything. Es lo primero de cualquier cosa. And this is going to be the first time Jesus is the first one to resurrect who will never die again. Y Jesucristo es el primero que ha resucitado y nunca va a morir jamás. Lazarus was called forth. He came out of the grave, didn't he? Lázaro fue llamado fuera de la tumba, ¿no? But he died again, too. Pero murió otra vez. The young man that, that Jesus rose, resurrected, for the widow of Nain, he resurrected, but when he got older, he died too. Jesucristo resucitó a un muchacho con, que era un hijo de la viuda que nomás tenía ese hijo, y cuando tuvo más edad, él murió también. Jairus' daughter, he resurrected her too, but she would die later as well. Jairus. Javier también su hija se murió. Y el Señor la resucitó, pero también murió otra vez. In verse 21, it says, Since by death, I'm sorry, since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Así como vino la vida de un hombre, también va a venir la vida por la resurrección. Adam was the man that brought about our death. Adán fue el que trajo el propósito de la muerte. You know, Adam had one rule that he had to follow. Adán nomás tenía una regla que tenía que uh, hacer. When I was a kid growing up, I had lots of rules. Cuando yo era muchacho, tenía muchas reglas que tenía que cumplir. Cut the grass, take out the trash. Cortar el sacate, sacar la basura. Obey my parents. Obedecer los padres. Pick work in the garden. Trabajar en el jardín. I had a lot of chores I had to do. Tenía muchos uh, trabajos que tenía que hacer. I bet some of you might have had chores too when you were small. Yo pienso que también nuestros padres les daban trabajos que hicieran cuando estaban chicos. And I remember that if I did not do my chores, there was a punishment. Y me acuerdo que cuando no había hacía lo que debía de hacer, había un castigo. Not so amazingly, when I did my chores, there was no reward. Lo triste de eso es que cuando sí hacía todo lo que tenía que hacer, no había un regalo. So is it any wonder I wanted to be a grown-up really fast? Así que saben bien que yo quería crecer muy pronto. I looked at it and I said, all the, all the adults, all the grown-ups, they get the rewards. All of us kids, all we get is punishment. Y todos los mayores tienen sus, uh, les dan sus regalos y todos los chiquillos nomás nos dan castigos. Adam had one rule, don't eat the fruit. He ate the fruit and he got thrown out of the garden. Adam nomás tenía una regla que era no comas de la fruta, comió la fruta y lo echaron fuera del jardín. And because of that, all of mankind was doomed to die in this temporal body. Y por esto, desde ese tiempo, estuvimos todos que morir. But because of Jesus Christ, there became a resurrection from the dead. Y por el, nuestro Señor Jesucristo, ahora tenemos el, la resurrección. And what that simply means is that life will come back into our bodies. Y lo que quiere decir es que la vida va a regresar a nuestros cuerpos. Now, I want everyone in the room to think about this. I don't care how old or young you are. This is important. Quiero que todos jóvenes y grandes pongan en esto en su mente. At one point, after you die, you will come back to life. En un punto, cuando usted muera, va a regresar a, a la vida otra vez. You just don't go into a grave and just lie there and it's over. 
No más te ponen una tumba y ya se acaba. And this may come as a shock to some of you, but there's a spirit inside of you that's going to live forever. Y esto puede ser que le dé algo de sor sorprend sorprendido que uh, el Espíritu Santo vive para siempre. It's the part of you that thinks. It's the part of you that dreams. It's the part of you that plans. That part of you is never going to die. Esa parte es la parte que es, uno sueña, uno vive, uno tiene sus deseos, sus trabajos, y es la parte que nunca va a morir. And when that spirit meets up with your new body, that's what we call the resurrection. Y cuando es tu vida se venga en tu cuerpo, es cuando es la resurrección. Now, these bodies that we're wearing right now today, they're going to get old, sick, and tired. Estos cuerpos que tenemos ahorita se van a ser viejos, cansados y enfermos. Some of you are beginning to experience that now. Ah, uh, unos de nosotros estamos experimentando eso ya. No, some of you are in denial. <laughs> y, mu y muchos de nosotros no lo queremos creer. But we're all going to face that day when we take our last breath and our heart beats for the last time, and this flesh that we've been carrying around with us our whole life is going to stop. Y entonces en este tiempo todo va a parar. Vamos a llegar a ese tiempo cuando nuestra vida va a acabar y este cuerpo se va a morir. But it's that part inside of us that's never going to stop. Pero esa parte que está dentro de nosotros nunca se va a terminar. And that spirit of yours is immediately going to go before the throne of God. Y este espíritu inmediatamente se va a ir al trono de Dios. And God is going to assign one of two places. Y el Señor te va a mandar a uno de dos lugares. And on the day of your resurrection, when that perfect body that God gives you is reunited with your spirit, it's going to live forever. Y en ese día, cuando tu cuerpo sea resucitado, va a ser perfecto. Brother Mike, how long is forever? <laughs> hermano, hermano Mike, ¿cuánto tiempo es para siempre? It goes to the end of the universe, wherever that is. Exactly. Va hasta el fin del universo. ¿Quién sabe cuánto es eso? Erica, how long is forever? <laughs> yeah. ¿Cuánto tiempo es para siempre? Le pregunta a Erica. How, how long do we think we're going to live on this life? ¿Cu ¿Cuánto tiempo piensan ustedes que van a vivir en aquí? Varies, right? Se so, varía. Some, some die very young, others Un die very old. Unos mueren muy joven y otros mueren muy viejos. We're all going to die. Pero todos vamos a morir. Only in the flesh, our spirit will not die. No más esta carne va a morir, no nuestro espíritu. And here's what's so critical about that fact. Y lo crítico de este uh, es. When we are reunited and we're assigned a new place to live, there's only two addresses. Y cuando el Señor nos resucite, no más vamos a tener dos a direcciones. Now I'm looking around the room. I see a lot of different addresses represented here. Estoy mirando por todo el, uh, el edificio y veo que todos tienen diferentes dirección de casa. I see Fort Worth, I see Arlington, I see Keller, I, I see Saginaw, I see lots of different places. Miro a uh, Fort Worth, Keller, Saginaw, muchos lugares representados aquí. But when you die, there's only two addresses. Pero cuando uno se muere, nomás hay dos direcciones. There's one with God. Uno es con Dios. And there's another one without God. Y el otro es sin Dios. And this is why it's so important. Y por eso es muy importante. The way we live today is going to decide which address we have forever. Y esto es muy importante porque en la forma que vivimos esta vida que tenemos ahora es lo que va a decidir dónde vamos a vivir. Now, when I was a young boy, I was born in Dearborn, Michigan. Cuando estaba joven, nací en Dearborn, Michigan. And then when I got older, we moved to Saline, Michigan. Y cuando estaba más 
joven, nos movimos para Salín, Michigan. And then I went to college in Houghton, Michigan. Después fui al colegio en Houghton, Michigan. And then I got married and I lived in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Después me casé y vivía en Ann Arbor, Michigan. And then I moved to Texas and I lived in Bedford, Texas. Después me moví para Texas y viví en Bedford, Texas. And now I live in Arlington, Texas. Y ahora vivo en Arlington, Texas. After I die, I'm not going to be moving anymore. Después que me muera, ya no me voy a mover para ninguna otra parte. I'm going to get one address, one mansion forever. Y cuando me muero, además voy a tener una dirección, una mansión para siempre. And it was all made possible by the Lord Jesus Christ when he resurrected from the dead. Y todo esto fue hecho posible por nuestro Señor Jesús Cristo que resucitó de la muerte. My heart is pumping. Okay. Slow really. down. Don't, 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 don't let your heart start popping pop until after the sermon, okay? Uh, we need to finish. Okay. Hey, doy un poquito. Mi corazón está palpiteando mucho. Okay. Because of this today, we celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ gave up his perfect life so that you and I can live with him forever. Por eso nuestro Señor Jesucristo vino y dio su vida y resucitó para que nosotros pudiéramos tener una vida también. Between the day Jesus resurrected until the day this earth is destroyed, Jesus is now on a plan to bring everything together underneath him, his rule, his power, and then comes the end. Entonces, desde la resurrección de nuestro Jesucristo, hay un plan que él tiene donde todo se va a llegar a un fin y todo va a ser bajo del poder de él. And I think we all recognize now how things are getting so crazy in this world that the, the mark, the, the line between good and evil is getting brighter and brighter all the time. Y ahora estamos viendo en estos tiempos locos cómo las cosas se están poniendo más y más que uno ve lo mal que está pasando en este mundo. And God is calling us every day to line up with Jesus Christ because that is where we want to be for eternity. Y el Señor nos está llamando todos los días que nos pónganos en forma con nuestro Señor Jesucristo porque es donde nosotros queremos estar. What does this mean for you? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir esto para usted? God has given you life today so that you can learn about him and appreciate him and build a relationship with him. Jesucristo te da dando este tiempo para que lo conozcas, para que tengas una relación con él y te alinees a lo que él desea para usted. From the day God put Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, He wanted to share everything that he had with his creation. Desde que el Señor uh, hizo a Adán y Eva, desde ese tiempo, él quería compartir todo con su creación. And even though Adam and Eve got kicked out of the garden, it didn't change the plan. God still wants to share everything that he has with you. Y aunque Adán y Eva los echaron fuera del jardín, el plan nunca ha cambiado. Él todavía quiere compartir todo con nosotros. And I know that sounds wonderful. Y yo sé que eso es maravilloso. But there's a devil out there that wants to share everything he has with you too. Pero también está el diablo que está en el mundo y él quiere compartir todo lo que él tiene con ustedes. And a lot of times the devil's interpret the devil's marketing is a lot of bright neon lights. And Jesus Christ has some plain Jane marketing skills. En este mundo, el diablo tiene uh, las luces brillantes para que caigamos. Y uno ve que es, se ve muy bonito. Y el Señor no tiene esas luces como, el, como Satanás. The devil says, hey, come on with me. I'll make you rich. I'll make you famous. Satanás te dice, ven conmigo. Yo te voy a hacer famoso y rico. And Jesus says, hey, come with me, and I'll give you um, pain and suffering. Y Jesucristo te llama y te dice, yo te voy a dar sufrimiento y dolor. You have to eat vegetables. Tienes que comer vegetables. He also says, I'll give you hope, and I'll give you peace, and I'll give you contentment, 
that all the money in the world can't buy. Y también Jesucristo nos dice, yo te doy la paz, contentamiento, estar feliz, estar tranquilo, y que nadie, nada de riquezas te puede dar. And every day, brothers and sisters and friends, you are bombarded by these messages trying to pull you in one way or the other. Y todos los días, hermanos y amistades, estas cosas están pasando todos los días, los dos lados llamándole. The honest truth is that we are all going to resurrect. Lo, la mera verdad es que todos vamos a resucitar. And there's only going to be two addresses that you're going to spend eternity at. Y nomás van a haber dos direcciones donde vamos a pasar la eternidad. And they're not very close together. Y no son, no son cerquitas. As a matter of fact, they're about as far apart as you can get. Están tan muy apartados que uno puede llegar. And I want you to know right now today that I love each and every one of you. Yo quiero que sepan a este tiempo que los amo a cada uno de ustedes. And I can't stand the thought that you're not going to be with me for eternity. Y no puedo tener ese, ese pensamiento que no van a pasar la eternidad conmigo. And so I want us all to continue our walk with Jesus Christ better and better every day. Y mi esperanza es que nosotros continuamos cada día acercarnos más y más a Jesús. If you haven't made a commitment to serve him, I recommend strongly start today. Y si no has ese uh, pacto con el Señor, todavía se los pido que lo hagan este día. And if you have made that commitment to serve him, tonight double down and say, Lord, I want more. I want to be closer. I want to be stronger because there's too much at stake. Y los que sí han hecho ese pacto con Jesús, que nos pónganos de rodillas y le pídanos al Señor que queremos más y más de Él porque queremos estar con Él. And if there's someone you love who's not here today, that you're concerned about them, pray harder that God will touch their lives and motivate them to want to draw closer to him. Y si hoy, este día, hay alguien en su casa, que usted conoce, que no ha hecho ese pacto con el Señor, que lo hagan. Y lo que podemos hacer es orar, porque no queremos que nadie se quede. The story of the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a story of hope and encouragement and of deep, deep love. La historia de la resurrección es de esperanza, de amor, y de que vamos a seguir, poder seguir adelante. And I hope that you take this message forward, that you think about it, and you consider your place before the Lord today. Yo quiero que tomen este mensaje hoy y lo pongan en práctica y en, en, en qué camino vamos en este camino con el Señor. May God bless you as my prayer. Que el Señor los bendiga es mi oración. Amen. Is it your desire to live for Amen. him? Amen, yes. After the sermon you heard today and Amen. what you know, is it your desire to live for Jesus Christ? Es tu deseo vivir para Jesucristo. If you're not baptized, si no come and see us. And we'll touch you on the path. Y los llevamos al camino. We'll go through the ordinances that have been given to us, and Amen. then you can walk that line with Jesus Christ. Y les damos las ordenanzas que tenemos y puede comenzar su camino con Jesucristo. And anybody that sang that song with all their heart, like many of you were doing, sí. you know what I'm talking about. Sí, muchos han oído y saben cómo cantar esa canción, saben de lo que estoy hablando. You can't not give Jesus Christ. No puedes dar más que Dios. You can't get the love that he gives us anywhere else in this world. No puedes dar el amor que él nos da en este mundo. You can't find eternal life with God without Jesus Christ. No puedes conseguir la vida eterna con Dios sin el, nuestro Señor Jesucristo. So if it's really your desire, si de veras es tu deseo, we're going to open up a brief testimony. Vamos a abrir un, con un poco de testimonio. Your desire. Quiero oír sus that, deseos. That we're going to the sacrament. Y después vamos a pasar el sacramento. So be quick. Pronto.